Hello friends, welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the Aviation Module segment, we will talk about Chain of Commands and Crew Hierarchy. Well friends, if you've ever travelled by airlines, it might be very confusing to see so many people and really trying to understand who is a senior amongst them and who is a junior. Well, inside the flight deck crew as well as inside the cabin, there are a number of people working and it might be a little confusing to know who exactly is serving what role and what is the purpose of that position. Well, today in this module, we will understand that in detail. So let's see what is there on the agenda today. We'll talk about what exactly is the chain of command, talking about who exactly is a senior cabin crew, what is a junior cabin crew, authority of the pilot in command or the captain, inspectors and auditors inside the aircraft. Well, that's what on the agenda today is. So friends, what exactly is chain of command? As you can see in this particular diagram and picture, a chain of command is starting from a particular higher hierarchy, moving on to the lower hierarchy. Well, they all are linked together and uh, each and every person has certain responsibility and protocols to be followed with respect to their particular position inside this chain of command. So on board the aircraft, we have a certain chain of command or a certain hierarchy which is expected and to be followed by each and every person. So the chain of command inside the aircraft is the highest chain of command or the highest hierarchy or authority in the aircraft is the pilot in command. Pilot in command is also known as the captain of the flight or the pilot of the flight. Check pilot. If there is a check pilot on board, the purpose of a check pilot is they need to perform certain checks seeing whether the pilot is flying the aircraft according to the rules and regulations and according to the standard operating procedures or the SOPs. The next after the check pilot comes the first officer. The first officer is the second pilot in command or the co-pilot. We will talk about them in detail. When we have the supervisory first officer, if at all there is a supervisory person on board, he comes next after the co-pilot. The flight purser who is the head of the flight crew, meaning the head of uh, the cabin crew, the senior most cabin crew. And then you have the junior cabin crew or the regular cabin crews who are not having so much of experience into the flying experience. So that is the order of authority or the chain of command inside the aircraft right from the flight deck to the cabin crew. Let's talk in detail about the pilot in command. Now pilot in command is the head of the ship as you may call as a captain of the ship. He has full control and full authority over the entire aircraft. Whatever he says is to be followed by each and every person inside the aircraft, be it crew or be it even the passengers. And he has the highest authority. As you can see over here in the diagram, a pilot in command or the captain or pilot of the flight has four stripes on his particular uniform which shows that he is a pilot so friends next time you travel by airline you do look at the uniform which the pilot is wearing you will see four strips or four lines that he has on his shoulder of the uniform let's look at the authority of the pilot in command he has full control and authority over the operations of the aircraft and each and every person has to follow the instructions given by the pilot. Well, no doubt the pilot's salary is humongous because of this authority that he has. There is absolutely no limitation and he has full control and full authority over the other crew members as well as the passengers while he is on duty. Designated by the authority or rather by the operator as being in command of the craft. So in the entire aircraft is under his, uh, you know, whatever he says has to be followed by everybody. Charged with responsibility for the operational conduct as well as the safe conduct of the flight. Well, everybody looks up to the pilot to carry the passengers from one destination to another. And whatever he says has to be taken as a final word. Nobody can argue with the pilot. Nobody can raise a hand on the pilot. He has the complete and the full authority. The equivalent terms used for a pilot in command is he's also known as a commander. He's also known as captain of the flight. So that's what his other synonymous names are that he's addressed by. Well, friends, coming to the second pilot in command or the second in command, 
who is sitting next to the pilot on the pilot's, uh, you know, inside the flight deck. The second in command is a licensed and a qualified pilot that assists or relieves the pilot in command in case there is a requirement, does not include a pilot that is on board the aircraft for the sole purpose of receiving the flight instruction. So, well, a co-pilot sits next to the pilot and he has three, uh, if you see on this uh, diagram, he has somebody, he's somebody who has three stripes on his uniform. So friends, next time you go by airline or travel anywhere, do look at the uniform of the second pilot in command. He will have three stripes or three lines on his uniform. Well, when a pilot needs to go out of the flight deck, the co-pilot is the person in charge of the flight deck at that point of time. He is also known as equivalent terms like co-pilot or first officer as well. So these are two names that you also call a first officer as well as a co-pilot. Coming to the next term or the next hierarchy in line is known as cruise relief pilot. Well friends, uh, there are certain type of pilots who have got the designation of cruise relief pilot for the simple reason that they what they do is what their uh, duty and responsibility is at the cruise level of the flight means when the flight is at 30 or 35,000 or even 40,000 feet above mean sea level cruise pilot uh, responsibility or duty is to help the pilot and co-pilot take a little nap or take a little time off probably they want to sleep or something like that that is the time the cruise relief pilot will take the responsibility of the pilot and that is the work that a crew pilot has or a cruise relief pilot has so a flight crew member that possesses a type rating which is limited to privileges acting as a pilot to only the cruise phase now friends please understand during takeoff as well as during landing which is the most crucial part of the aircraft this particular person who is a cruise relief pilot will never ever perform the duties. He has to just sit inside the pilot's cabin without giving any instructions or anything like that. Well, the role of the cruise relief pilot is to allow the pilot in command or a co-pilot to obtain some amount of rest or planned rest. Equivalent terms of a cruise pilot is cruise relief officer. He is also known as a relief pilot relief flight officer so these are certain terminologies used for a cruise relief pilot so friends next in line we will talk about the flight purser who is the head of the flight crew or the senior most cabin crew on board so we have understood what the flight deck hierarchy or chain of command is now coming inside the cabin area a flight purser or a senior cabin crew as the name suggests is the head of the flight for the cabin when required to carry more than one cabin crew member, an operator should appoint a person of a post of senior cabin crew member or SCCM. This person who will act in liaison with the flight crew and has a responsibility towards the pilot in command for the conduct and coordination of normal, abnormal as well as emergency procedures specified in the airline operation procedures manual. So this particular person who is a C, uh, you know, the SCCM has to take commands or instructions from the pilot for all these kind of situations. The position of a SCCM might have a different title or a name according to the aircraft or you know the type of the aircraft. So most of the airlines call them by different name like they're known as flight pursers or senior cabin crew or even in-flight manager etc. So the name can be any but they are the senior most people on board the aircraft after the pilots and the co-pilots. Well let's look at certain responsibility that is a part of senior cabin crew member. They have to apply all safety, security and service procedures and standards as outlined in their operations manual as well as the other sources. So anything related with safety, with service as well as any situation that they might be placed into, they have to really be aware of the operation manual and carry out instructions. Briefing with the pilot in command as well as the co-pilot prior to each flight they need to sit with the flight crew and take any kind of briefing about weather about uh, you know any kind of situation that they might have inside the aircraft briefing the cabin crew on all the relevant safety security as well as the service aspect for the conduct of their flight in one of the modules friends we had also studied that there is an in-flight briefing before or prior to every flight 
uh, the senior most cabin crew member has to conduct these briefings and it is her responsibility. They have to provide effective leadership to the cabin crew. Well, she is in charge of the cabin crew, so she has to have exhibiting a lot of leadership qualities so that people can really follow her orders. Well, uh, certain more responsibilities for them, liaising between the flight crew as well as the cabin crew, so they are the point of contact between the flight deck as well as the cabin crew. Performing emergency procedures and preparations according to the pilot in command or any kind of special instruction with the pilot give, she has to carry out those orders. Reporting to the pilot in command and managing all the accidents, incidents, etc. Safety concern of the passengers and situations which might happen. So a senior cabin crew member has to really give all the feedback from passengers, crew, etc. and report it to the pilot. Reporting logging of any kind of technical difficulties or any kind of irregularities in coordination with the pilot. So if there is any goof up or any technical error inside the cabin, she has to report it to the pilot immediately. Well friends, looking at the junior cabin crew, uh, they definitely come after the senior cabin crew and they are people who have less number of years of flying experience. They are a little immature, not very uh, leadership qualities what they do not have. Uh, let's see what they do. Applying all safety, security and service related procedures as well as standards as outlined in the operation manual. They have to follow all the commands of the senior most cabin crew member as well as the pilot. So whatever uh, comes to them, they have to follow them. Reporting to the senior cabin crew member all the situations affecting the safety of the aircraft in case there are any feedbacks given by the passengers, any issues that passengers have, they have to report it to the senior most cabin crew member. Well friends, there is something or uh, rather a position who is known as aircraft inspectors and auditors. Now each and every airline or each and every aircraft in any part of the world or the country has these inspectors and auditors. Let's take a look at them. Inspectors from a civil aviation authority or the CAA and auditors from any audit organization that is AO could perform an inspection or audit inside the flight. The very purpose of performing an audit is just to check uh, the safety procedures are being followed or no or you know they might want to check the safety equipment they might want to check the logbook inside the cabin now the cabin crew member has a responsibility that they cannot allow anybody who comes into the aircraft saying that they are a, you know an auditory person or an inspector they need to check the id cards of such people and then only allow them inside the cabin Appropriate CAs of each and every contracting state has a right to search the aircraft whenever they want to, documents and any other things that they might want to check. So they come with the sole purpose of auditing whether the safety equipments are being carried are proper or not, whether the crew is proper or not, whether they have the required safety knowledge etc. They also can enter the aircraft to check and inspect any kind of things they want. Check the aircraft logbook, make sure the logbook is completed and up to date. So that is what is the purpose and responsibility of aircraft inspectors as well as auditors. Well friends, that brings us to a conclusion on this particular module on chain of hierarchy or chain of command as well as the cabin crew duties and responsibilities. We hope you have enjoyed and understood this lesson very, very well. Keep watching, more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching us.